All new at 10, water rations. Tonight, voluntary water restrictions are in place across much of green country, but rural water district number three in Rogers County is taking it a step further, asking for mandatory water rationing. Two News reporter Brianne Palmerini has the latest from across the water district. Take a good shower, take a good bath, do everything you need, but let the yard go for a while. That's all I'm asking. It's as simple as that. It sounds simple, but it's been four days, and the center of rural water district number three of Rogers County is struggling. Officials say if I could get close enough to knock on that water tower, it would sound empty because it nearly is. That water tower serves the Keatonville Ridge area. It hasn't been able to fill up because officials say the surrounding areas are using up all the water before it gets there. This is the center focal point of the district and we can't get the water at this high elevation. Which means Keatonville Ridge residents are literally high and dry. This morning, for instance, I didn't have any water. I usually do in the mornings, but there wasn't, there wasn't enough water to wet my toothbrush. Leanne Boyer and nearly 150 other residents shared the same story. Keeping water in the tub so that we can get buckets out and flush the toilet. The mandatory water restrictions apply to everyone in the district, which includes parts of Collinsville, Owasso, Claremore, Foyle, and Chelsea. I did not realize it was mandatory. Residents in Stone Canyon and Owasso are getting mixed messages. The neighborhood's common area water and the golf course are served through a private supply, but the residents are part of rural water district three. If somebody else has water in their lawn and I don't have water to flush or to brush my teeth or to take a shower. Officials are hoping that everyone takes the mandatory restrictions to heart so the water tower can refill and water will flow again. I hate to lose, I mean, especially my pretty dahlias that are blooming, but I'll have to you know, I'll have to do it. We don't want people to be without water, so if that's what we have to do. Brianne Pomerini, 2 News, works for you.